kind of a weird way to start this video off so my truck the white truck that you guys will see skinny bow tie later in this video got totaled about a week ago wednesday so about 10 days ago and i haven't seen the truck i know where it went towed and i have the address and everything or where it got towed and i have the address but i haven't seen the truck and i need some things out of the truck my snap-on jack is back there all my tools are in the in the back seat the, my Yeti coolers in the back of the truck. I have a wheel and tire that's in the back of the truck that I really need. And there's just a lot, a lot of little stuff. I need my garage door opener. There's all kinds of stuff I need out of the truck. And I pulled up here, it's 225. The place is supposed to, supposed to close at three. All the doors are locked. There's no way for me to get into the place. I don't know where the legalities lie as far as me hopping the fence and going technically to get my own property. But I know that that's probably not the best thing to do. So I'm gonna end up having to wait, obviously, through the weekend, but I need to make sure that the truck is back there. So obviously I can't see the truck looking through the fence and I didn't want to snoop around too much. So I actually came next door and I'm gonna fly the drone over the tree line to see and make sure that my truck is back there and see if anything's been stolen out of the back of my truck. So obviously over here, you can see the top of an 18 wheeler that's right here. That's the parking lot of the, uh, of the tow yard, right? And this is the back of the tow yard, and this is the, the tree line, and I'm actually behind a church right here. So, in a, in a place of God, uh, I'm, I'm an honest man doing honest man things, right? Now, I could probably sneak through the woods right there and see, but I'm just gonna fly the drone up that I got and just do it that way, it seems to be easier. I'm gonna fly the drone up. Geo zone nearby, flight restriction in effect. That'll be all right. All right, so up we go. You guys can see here the tow yard. Let's see if the old bow tie is back here. Look, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it right there. All right, so let's make sure that we're high enough up. Obviously, I think that we are. Looks like everything's still back there. Yep, I see my jack. The t look, the TV's still back there. <laughs> TV's still back there. It looks like yeah, it looks like we're good. So at least I know. At least I know where where it is now. Probably not the smartest thing for me to do, but at least I know where the truck is and where it's sitting. So when I call insurance Monday and I get insurance to come and uh, tow the truck, at least I know where the truck is. But obviously we fly it back over the trees, back down into church property. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the perks that I get for being a YouTuber and having cameras and stuff. And then we fly our right back down. Over onto the ground. Some of you may or may not like it, but I cut the beard off yesterday. So we're back to the back to the baby face. Didn't keep the mustache. Gotta keep the mustache though, you know? It just you can't go this long with a beard and not just rock the mustache for a couple of days. But not being able to get my truck yesterday is actually kind of throwing a kink in my plans today. I was gonna do some yard work and start cutting down some of these bushes because they're growing up a little bit before it starts getting cold, so we can work on the uh, fire pit again over in the corner. See that? Hold on. Oh, I guess. I guess can't zoom the camera the way it's sitting. So, but I got a lot of stuff that I need in the back of the truck right now. My Yeti cooler's back there. That uh, snap-on jack is back there. The wheel. I need that wheel and tire out of there. I was gonna do something with that TV, and then uh, you know, like my machete, my axe, my my clipper, the bigger clippers. 
for my for my bushes and stuff are back there and I, all my snap-on tools are in the truck so I really need to go get that truck or get insurance to get it towed so I'm just that's kind of what the holdup is shout out southern ties if you guys want to check out some of the merch support your boy it's in the description below I got bass pro shop hats on there as well so let's show some love to you boy we're gonna do a little yard work today before we go uh, I think I'm gonna go see Thomas Thomas is putting a McGoy's kit on his Hummer right now so we might go see Thomas in a little bit but first I do a little bit of yard work got me out here freaking cutting bushes in a freaking oh come on really that that fast freaking dog got three huskies and a two yorkies in case y'all didn't know probably shouldn't go over there and cut those bushes oh there's a lizard right there where'd he go literally cut a branch and there was a lizard next to it i should probably get an electric powered electric powered something that would probably help. If I wake up tomorrow, will you still be here? If you feel the way I do, I'm gonna find you, baby. Please don't go, 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 go. Get out of here, trash. This is freaking pointless. What am I even doing? Thousand percent pointless. It's a weird looking berry. You ever see something in the bushes that looks appetizing like you could eat it, but obviously you shouldn't? No, nobody else. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, what's on me? Doesn't this look like something you could just, just, ah, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Gotta get them bucks. This is pointless. I actually went fishing for a couple hours yesterday at a spot around the corner from my house and I caught three or four fish and I'll pop a couple pictures up on the screen so y'all can see it. And I, as soon as I was leaving, I realized, damn, I think this is somebody's property. So I've been looking for some new spots to fish around the corner from my house and I'm pretty sure that I found a spot. Hold on. I'm pretty sure that I found a spot, but when I came out here a couple of weeks ago or like a week ago, I did notice a no fishing sign down by the water. So we're gonna fly the drone. Take off. point has been updated. Please check it on the map. We're gonna fly the drone down there and check it out first. Looks like a pretty awesome little spot though. It's been raining on and off all day too, so I'm trying not to try not to destroy the drone. See, it's a decent little spot down here. Kind of tucked away, not too many people know about it as far as I know. The no fishing sign probably keeps a lot of people away from it. But I just kind of wanted to come out here and check this spot out today. A little gazebo in the middle, kind of nice. About an acre big, something like that. I'm actually really excited though. So I'm gonna throw the GoPro on and we're gonna go out there and check it out. It's worth a shot, right? There's literally nobody else out here at the little park. So you can kind of see where I'm parked at over here. There's nobody else over here right now. So I shouldn't have any problems as far as like getting kicked out or anything. But I'm gonna get the drone back over here. In one piece. There we go. It's your boy. Hello. Switching over to the GoPro. As long as the rains, I can already see it's starting to rain a little bit though. But it's fine, there's nobody else out here. So it should be a decent, decent little spot. It's only about a, I'd say it's only, realistically, it's about a hundred yards from where I parked my truck at to the water. But it's definitely starting to rain a little bit now. It sucks, worth it. It's a cool little spot though. The spot I was at yesterday, I'm 99% sure it was somebody's house and I didn't realize it until right when I went to leave. Already ripped a couple of bass though. So it was alright. Flew the drone right before the rain started too.
of them things off. Got right back into it too. Oh no! He was running with it. Freak. Fuck you. Bit my damn. Oh. Right in that little pocket right there. As soon as it started to drop, something got it. Started running with it. Yanked it right out of its mouth. Freaking frustrating. I just want to catch one fish today. That's my goal. Just want to catch catch a fish in the rain. Just one. Is it too much to ask? Just want one little fish. Put you on YouTube. Say hey. You know? The Bass Pro Shop hats ain't for nothing. I know they're hanging out over there too. Getting bit like crazy. Oh, jeez. No. Oh. Saved him. I think. Yep. Fix him up. Come here, buddy. Guggen Bandito Bug. Favorite bait of all time, just saying. Just throwing that out there. Oh, that's money. That's a money cast. It's the casts that are like the best ones you've ever made in your entire life that don't get bit. Oh no. You make a cast and you're like freaking Tom Brady out here with the rod. This spot over here is just freaking rough. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that fishing nonsense. I went out there, I got a bunch of bite, just none of that fishing trip went well. And I'm very, it's, I don't even wanna talk about it, to be honest. The day before was fire, fire. That trip was raining, I just, I couldn't get it going. It's Labor Day, happy Labor Day to you guys. I hope that you guys are staying safe. Chick-fil-A was closed, so we had to Starbucks it up today, which ain't a problem, I like Starbucks. I think Starbucks is my second favorite. It's a little expensive, coffee's not terrible, but it is what it is. I actually came into the shop today on my day off so I could ship out a couple of orders to you guys. I made the hour and a half drive down here so I could come and ship out some orders for you guys. I do it for you guys, that's what I do it for. Came all the way down here. So I got a couple orders packaged up. Uh, just, I'm gonna throw one of these out there. Um, Steven Phillips, your decals are on the way. And uh, Jacob Hagman, Hagman, your uh, decals are on the way. Evan Channel. Shirt and decals are on the way. Ethan Canup, your stuff is also on the way. Just a couple of them for the morning. Um, I got a, another big shipment of stuff coming in, uh, hopefully tomorrow, so a lot of other stuff will get shipped out as well. Uh, Brian, I was just on the phone with you. Hello, Brian, if you're watching. I had a thought in the back of my mind that I haven't done a giveaway in a long time. I haven't done, done a giveaway since you know I got, got back on the Southern Ties stuff, and I appreciate you guys so much for uh, you know showing love to the brand. I've been working on some hats. I just haven't found the right hat that I wanna use, but I do have a bunch of extra Bass Pro Shop hats up here at the shop. So I, th I think, I, I, don't, I don't know how to do giveaways, you know what I mean? Um, I, I wanna do a giveaway with a Bass Pro Shop hat. I've got um, at least three extra brand new ones up here, and then I've got some extra ones. Um, some extra just test hats up here that I might give away as well. So let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do just some kind of a small giveaway. Obviously there's no entry fee or anything. Um, you don't have to buy anything off the website if you guys wanna buy some some merch or show some love to Southern Ties or the Bread Gang stuff. Um, you know, you obviously can and I appreciate all of you for doing that. Um, I might just do like a must be subscribed and you know, follow Southern Ties kind of thing to enter or something like that. Um, but you know, I love you guys. Let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see something like that. I used to be really bad about doing giveaways because it was hard for me to get to the post office and, and package things, but now obviously having a business, what I could do is if you win the giveaway, I could just have you go order something off the website, I'd give you a free discount code, and then obviously I can package it and ship it right to you. So it's, it's easy now. So let me know in the comments if you guys think I should do some kind of a giveaway and uh, show some love back to you guys.